Welcome to Mac and PC Prime video. Today I'm going to show you Bliss OS is an open source operating system based on Android. If you want to install the latest version of Bliss OS on your laptop, I'll show you step by step how to do it. The process of installing Bliss OS on your PC is easy enough. Just follow along as I show you the steps. First of all, we need to download the OS image file. To do so, go to its official website. Click on the download button. Select Bliss OS 16. The latest Bliss OS V 16.9 is based on Android 13. Just click on this link to download the Bliss OS ISO image file. Next, download the Rufus tool, which will help you create a bootable USB drive from the ISO file. Now plug the USB pen drive into the PC, then open up Rufus. In the device dropdown, make sure your pen drive is selected. Then select the ISO file that you downloaded. Select Partition Scheme GPT and Target System UEFI. Click the Start button. Then it will ask you the mode in which you want the image to be written. Simply choose ISO Image Mode and click OK. Click OK to allow Rufus to format your pen drive. I already have Windows as my primary operating system. I want to install this OS alongside Windows, so I'll just separate the disk partition to install Bliss OS. We now have the bootable USB drive. Let's restart the PC boot. When your PC is booting up, just press and hold the boot menu key. As soon as we get into the boot menu, I am going to choose my USB drive boot. On this screen, select the Bliss OS installation option. Boot, select the drive where you want to install Bliss OS. I created a modified partition for that, so I'll just select that one. Then I'll show you step by step how to do it.
Once the installation is complete, you get the option to run Bliss OS or Reboot. I recommend doing a reboot first. At this point, you can remove the pen drive from your PC after rebooting, go to the BIOS boot setting, choose the first Bliss option, save the configuration, and restart. To do, as long as you see the startup animation, you should be good to go. Select the home app of your choice and give it all the required permissions. You can connect to a Wi-Fi network from here, or you can just use an Ethernet cable for internet access. As you can see, it is running on Android 13. All the options are just like an Android device. Saves you a lot of time and hassle. Okay, I hope this video was helpful for anyone out there. And if you like it, subscribe. There's more like that to come. Bye.